we can see that groups and arrays help us with division as well. We can share 18 into groups of six. So using an array with 18 pieces, we can actually share this into groups of six. Each row has six pieces in it. But we can also write that because we can write that as 18, our total, shared or divided into groups of six. 18 divided by 6 is another way to express that problem. Now we can share our 18 into groups of 3. And this time we've got columns of 3 pieces. But we can write that as a division as well. 18 divided by 3. 18 shared into groups of 3. Now this array represents both problems. We saw it to help us with 18 divided by 6 or 18 divided by 3. In fact, if you've got 18 pieces, you can actually make some other arrays and division problems as well. With larger numbers, we can still see how an array could help us share 60 into groups of 12. Our rows have 12 pieces, so we can see how many rows of 12 we have. But we can also write that as a division problem. We can write that as 60 divided by 12. 60 shared into groups of 12. And this particular array could also help us see what 60 shared into groups of 5 looks like because our columns have 5 pieces. So we could work out 60 shared into groups of 5. Or we could just write it as 60 divided by 5. Now this array has 60 tiles. Could you arrange this differently and then write the division problem for it? 